I cannot bring my ally near that because my ally is not smart. Predictable, but not smart. So hopefully it will help. She's actually right here. And she'll eventually catch up to us simply through walking her way over here. But because we've been able to sell those off immediately, and now my cats are going crazy again. Oh, there she is. No, no, no. You just need to, like, buy all of the crap I find. That's what you really need to do. Hello, survivors. It's Rose Kid. Good Fox. It's time for some more Lethal Zone in Providence Ridge. So we have a little bit of daylight left. I don't know how much, but while we have daylight, my objective is going to be to try and get us some building materials from a more distant location. That's why I would prefer to have the daylight. And what I'm actually going to be doing is pulling in a recruited survivor because uh, I don't want to waste as much time. Normally it doesn't bother me as much, but this time, since you know, I want to try to get as much done while we have daylight, I do want to actually recruit one from this because we might actually be able to take out some of these more stubborn zombies and not have to constantly do like shenanigans in order to find an area that's a little low threat. Okay, so you're... Okay, it won't let me talk to anybody. That could be because they're still fighting some enemies. I apparently did not bring a melee weapon with me. I don't know why I would have unequipped a melee weapon. And I apparently... Okay, so I know how to start, fix this. Just get in the car, get out of the car, and that should fix it. I should be able to talk to people now. Yes, I can. So let's go ahead and enlist somebody for 100 influence. And it looks like I'm going to need to actually go back to base and quickly grab a melee weapon. Anyways, my point is that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to, like, there's a residential zone that is under construction. And as you know, one of the logical places to find building materials is at construction sites. And so that place has a whole bunch of them. And that's where we're going to be going. After that area, then I guess the next best place would probably be the uh, the industrial district, which is where the lumber mill is. But other than that, you know, these are going to be the two big places to get the building materials. We need to get, you know, we need to basically have enough to fill up the base, and then anything extra, we're going to be able to be able to make uh, crossbow bolts, which will be really nice. So let me go ahead and grab a weapon. You don't have a specialization yet? No, not yet. Um, it probably is not going to matter. Let's just take this military tactical baton. And let's also get this crackalackin'. We need to make sure our EXP or our, uh, yeah, we want to make sure our EXP is going in a positive direction. But the residential zone is right in this area over here. And, uh, it is like, as I said, it is a little, you, yeah, good, you're in here. It is a little dangerous over there because it's in a dense zombie zone and it's... Uh, it's a little bit farther away from our base, so if the car yeah. is destroyed... Speaking of it, the car is destroyed. If the car gets destroyed, if any shenanigans happen, we don't have as good of a safety net. And uh, But I got a potential idea of how I might be able to resolve this situation and make it a little bit safer. Okay, so that is the end of day. So, basically, okay, so there it is right there. So, one thought at a time. So... We just got the notification that oh, the car is already taking more damage than I'm happy with, but right now I'm prioritizing time over safety. Not too much, but nevertheless I am. Slow cooker's done. Anyways, when you call in an enclave to spawn in, they try the game tries to spawn it close to you. And so what I'm going to do is drive into this neighborhood and call in them and hopefully be able to create an allied enclave in this little neighborhood, which will mean it'll be a nice place for for us to fall back to if if it gets, like, really, really nasty. So right over here, let's try it. Anyone out there? Seriously, anyone? Let's see where they I, get I popped talk in. I anyone. I don't care how much of a loser you are. Yeah. So unfortunately, it put them it's somewhat nearby, but not really what I would consider it nearby. It was worth a shot, though. I, I imagine it, it would probably work every other time. Because I, I have gotten people to appear here. All right, so here's our first area. The other benefit of having a... 
The other benefit of having an ally with me is any items that I don't need, I can just sell right off. Okay, let's get started. Building materials, that's what we need, yes. Weevil zone. What are the side effects? Is everything costs a lot more. Not just a little bit more, but I'm afraid it costs a lot more. This actually might not even be an official lootable, like, designated location. Like, I don't actually think that this is, like, a, a, a building. Um, there isn't really a scouting location extremely close by. Let me see if this is one. The reason I'm doing this on foot is because... I just don't... Remember, when we turn the car on, it, the engines make noise. And as a result, it can drag more zombies to me than, than you want. So when possible, if we can find a safe location, it is a good idea to get out on foot. But we know this is one for sure. Unfortunately, the one next to it does look like it's pre-looted, but we got to work with what we've got. Go, go, go! Let's see what we can do here, though. I can already see that there's a play guard right out in the open over there. I cannot bring my ally near that because my ally is not smart. Predictable, but not smart, and part of them being predictable is that I know they're predictably dumb. And they will attack the Plague Guard even if we have no even if we're not ready to fight one and have no chance against it. We should be able to take them out over here though. Okay. Now let's see if we can find any resources. We've got a horde over there. And here's our first item that we can loot. Well, I guess our second. And we'll see if it pays off enough. We need to make enough influence at least to earn our 100 influence back. Can't use it. Maybe someone else okay, Sawblade Sword. Not what I'm looking for. But can we find some building materials? That is what I'm okay. looking for. No sets around. But three lootable, lo three lootable items. So, you know, we'll see. And while we're in the area, we could probably greet them. Okay, there we go. Roll a canvas. There's our first rucksack of building materials. Another benefit of uh, having the ally here is if it does get a little bit danged. Oh, we got two. Oh, that's a really good. We'll have to come back for that. The other benefit, though, is if things get a little bit out of control, I can just abandon her. You know, she can distract some of the zombies. While it is true that the zombies prefer me, that doesn't mean they won't attack at all. As you can see, once the uh, once the middle of day, or once the end of day notification pops up, it gets dark pretty rapidly. Take some of these guys out. Looks like that horde is only three zombies, but no need to fight them if we can avoid it. Pretty good start, though. Two rucksacks of building materials in a single location. I'll take it. How much is this thing worth? It's only worth 20? I might just sell it. What's up? That's How much is it? Oh, it sells for 43? Absolutely. We'll take it. That's basically half of our influence debt. So that's, like I said, pretty good start. Somebody hears us. Oh, no, that's just them being... Strangely loud, despite not being that close to us. That's something I think Undead Labs could work on a little bit. I think they could this place is a waste of time. probably adjust the loudness of sound effects based on proximity. I mean, it does exist, but maybe they could take a second pass over it. Because some enemies sound way closer than they actually are. I wonder if there's anything... Oh, I already saw something shining over there. I don't think that's an actual mappable location but we're here to loot so we might as well do it and then we'll check out those trailers oh a set of power tools i'm never going to use that but i will sell that off for a big old 170 influence very nice okay so here's another Weston logo, a division of Weston Allied Industries. As I mentioned before, that is the leader of the Red Talon. So I mentioned that you rescue someone of the Weston family in Lifeline 
in State of Decay 1 Lifeline, that's the the DLC for it. And yeah, you do actually. Yeah, you re you rescue their son. And I believe their son is like super stoned out and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And is just, you know, kind of useless in general. So it's not like you learn too much from them. Other than that, they're obviously really important because they're able to... Oh, there we go. So we can immediately sell all of these luxury items off. So we've just sold three things off. And I'm probably going to sell this demo hammer as well because it's worth 85 And basically, not only am I getting more inventory slots, but I'm saving time by not having to make multiple trips. So this is, it's already starting to pay off. Like it can be worthwhile. I don't like to bring my characters because I don't want my characters to die. Usually all of my characters are very fastidiously chosen, shall we say. And losing even one of them is quite the setback. Whereas, you know, this is, we've already paid off our debt and we're saving a lot of time by selling these off. Look at this. Another luxury item. So I, what is this? I made the fourth or fifth one. We've uh, basically, I would have had a full inventory by then, but because we've been able to sell those off immediately and now my cats are going crazy again. Anything up here? No. I think this area is, I think we can call this area clear. That area was, even though it wasn't really a, uh, uh, no rucksack resources, still very significant for like luxury items and a really good mod that, like I said, I'm never going to use those power tools, but good gravy, like they sold for 170 influence. Let's see if there's anything in here. Looks like it. I already see something flashing. Looks like some kind of metal drum. Oh, fuck me. The juggernaut's got the plague. Okay, so that means we want to be... We don't want to get his attention just because I don't want to make a hasty escape. So, listen to how loud... I mean, like, when I when I edit the videos, I do reduce the game volume a bit. But, my, but for me, the Juggernaut, the breathing sounds like it's practically right next to me. When it's really not. It's re actually, like, not even in shotgun range. So like, I don't know, it just, it's really bad with ferals because when you hear like a feral give its howl, it just makes you think that it's way closer than it actually is. Like, I don't know why you can't, or just climbing up and down everything, going crazy, being silly. I'm probably just gonna take these guys out actually. Okay, or the geometry will mess up. I've been to a lot of places and talked to a lot of people. All right, so I see we got a few other buildings here. We'll, I guess I'm going to try. Next plague territory smell this bad. Actually, let me refuel while it's relatively safe. I already got all I can handle. I might reveal the play guards while I'm here, too. I don't see the harm in that. Okay, so let's focus on revealing some of these buildings. Got a horde. Uh, this is a normal everyday building, not what we're looking for. Looks like that, unfortunately, that location is pre-looted. I saw at a uh, construction symbol or a building material symbol. That location. Oh, it looks like we found another one. This one isn't preluded. Let's go ahead and mark it for now. Squish a few of these guys, like so. Should be good enough. Let's take the rest of them out. Okay, we got a bigger fight here, but like I said, we did bring our allies, so hopefully it will help. Oh, look at that. She's already distracting them. Very nice. Okay, I see that one is screaming. Okay, looks like that's not going to help us. Time to get out of here. Very unfortunate. 
there we go. So I wanted to make sure that we cut all the existing damage off. So our ally, I'm gonna leave her. Like I said, she's expendable, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave her behind because I definitely do not want to, I, the car is more important than her. And what we immediately do is like, I know that they're on the hood of the car, so they're gonna start beating the car up. So the first thing I do is just immediately, in, in crash is like kind of a, a strong word, but I bump into the nearest obstacle because that immediately squishes them off of me and just cuts the damage down just like, just like that. And then Bruh. I just, you know, just get the heck out of there. Like, that's all you got to do. Just stop the damage on the vehicle's engine and then just get out of there. Anyways, I will see you back at the base. Actually, no, I won't. I'll see you right over here by our new allies. How are you guys doing? Hmm. Okay. We got... Uh, medicine? I might buy the medicine. Actually, I'm probably yeah. gonna buy that repair kit. I need to make a little bit of space, though. Put those in temporarily. Hey, what's poppin'? Yeah, 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 so what's what poppin', guy? Um, yeah, sure. toolkit and medicine? Let's get the vehicle repaired. Oh, you're probably wondering what's happening to our ally. Well, since we're too far away from her, the uh, the game is going to stop simulating combat. And that means she's actually right here and she'll eventually catch up to us simply through walking her way over here. Because like none of these enemies are actually going to do anything to her. So we're actually perfectly free to do whatever, she, you know, like she will get here unhindered. Okay. Let's check out what their skills are. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a little distracted with my cats running amok. See ya. So, what do we got today? Yeah, sure. Business. Normally, they are not going crazy at this. Hey, like normally, they start going crazy closer to midnight. Craftsmanship. Not what I'm looking for. Normally, they go crazy like deeper in the night, closer to midnight. But right now, I guess they're deciding to be obnoxious right now. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing that's saying that we can't loot areas over here. I mean, we 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 are having a little bit of a. Oh, there she is. So, what do we got today? Sure. We are having a little bit of an inventory issue, but I could just sell some of this stuff off as, as influence. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. I don't think I don't see that as a big deal. I'm just gonna sell all of this off for influence and just continue looting. And another thing we can do is get these guys' attention, drag them over here. Hmm. What do you guys got in here? Bags of chips? What are these? Those look like t-shirts or something. Or pouches. Did else see that? I don't know what those are. Over here, okay, those look like napkin dispensers. So this is obviously like the storeroom. Are you guys done yet? I, I as much as I like examining all of your like supplies. Barrel incoming. Oh. Let me like turn the camera carefully. You guys, you guys taking them out? Everything okay? I don't need to do anything, do I? Are you out there fighting them by yourself, Maggie? Okay, I need to like get Maggie away from them by just moving farther away. Oh, cardio level up. Powerhouse! Yay! There we go. Yeah, as I can, like I said, the AI predictable, predictably dumb. That's that's the way I've described them. You can count on them being stupid. That looks like the dead Pharaoh, I can tell because of his ripped up trousers. I'm not getting better on my own. I need medical attention. No, no, no. You just need to like buy all of the crap I find. That's what okay. you really need to do. Zed's around, but we can't secure the place with a play card close by. Okay, looks like we can get some food here. I mean, I'll take any rucksack I can get. Basically, I'll take anywhere to loot. That's relatively safe Boring. snacks well, i mean we did use a snack so it stacks thank you for opening up the door that's what we, we don't want to be stealthy for sure we want to like definitely exactly what I want. Oh, more sanitary pads tampon meta continues boys hey is that going to help like uh, do you need like sanitary pads for your injuries or for your blood play oh there's the case of honey for our food 
And uh, finish strong. Oh, box of seeds. Not lighting me on fire, but it's better than nothing at all. And I can't talk to her, which means I need to get in the car and get out again. And that should fix that problem. That bug has been in the game for a while. Okay, now get out and let me talk to you. There we go. Let's get down to business. Oh my god, sanitary pads. 102? Good gravy. We'll take it. Paying off all the stuff. What are we up to? Yeah, we're up to 1,200 influence. Like, that's... Oh, wait. I need to put, put this in the trunk. Okay, next up, we've got Dewey's Hardware. Does this count as a material location? Yeah, it does. Oh man, this could be, uh, we get like 15 materials because we got 5, 10, and then the third one will be a 15. God, it takes so much. Oh my god, there's two rocks. There's two of them in here. We're going to be coming up with 20 materials. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my, we are full on rucksacks completely. Wow. Uh, okay, well. I guess it's time to mosey our way on home. We need to come back here quickly and get some more gear. Like, that's another thing that's really good about Ally. Allies are so useful, but the thing is, you you gotta have kind of, I'm gonna call it like an asymmetric understanding or asymmetric strategies involving the uh, allied enclaves because the, the obvious use for them is to recruit them. The obvious use is to do quests for them. The obvious use is to buy and sell with them. But the not obvious use is stuff like considering that the, the location of the Allied Enclave becomes safer. Yes, and therefore, right. it opens up new opportunities to loot areas that previously might have been a little too hot. On my aunt's proper plan, there's a string of numbers next to B O E. The numbers look like GPS coordinates. Okay, so I believe we hit our cap. So let me jump up here real fast. And yep, so we need to choose something. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. And that brings us down to 13 materials, which is fine. Um, yeah, that's all, that's all perfect. Oh, look at this. We're in positive morale. Why is that? Everyone, Namorita raised everyone's spirits. Oh, and the cooking the stew. That's right, that's right. So yeah, we are, despite not having any be beds, we are overcoming the negative impacts of the lethal zone, which is exactly what we were trying to do. Let's head back over here, actually. I don't see why not. Uh, we do have to, you know, tiptoe a little bit around that plague heart, but as long as I don't go in the building, I think we'll be okay. I, I'm, I am a little bit worried that my extremely suicidal ally will just open up the door and attack the play guard anyways that's definitely a possibility hope i don't get demonetized for that i hear that like using the s word will, can get you demonetized that would make me very sad but i guess i don't know i guess we'll find it i can always bleep it out i guess youtube is really really touchy it wasn't always that way but uh, you, you may have heard of the thing called the Adpocalypse. It, if you, it, as a brief history of that, it's basically what happened was uh, people, businesses complained that like their advertisements were appearing really on cool. channels that were like saying like bad say. words and stuff like that. And they're like, we're not going to advertise on YouTube anymore. And then Google was like, no, don't do that. We'll, we'll make it, we'll demonetize anyone who like, anyone who says a bad word. That, that's basically what happened. So that's why you'll notice that a lot of people don't use foul language. Let's go ahead and draw these guys in. And hopefully I can keep Maggie out of trouble by falling back over here. Because I don't want her to actually fight them. What we're going to do, though, is continue looting. We can loot from the back door. I don't see why not. Okay, or the back door is locked. The front door is unlocked, but the back door is locked. Okay, I see how it is. Let's go ahead and unlock the back door. And then just close it again. Okay, so we got a little first aid 
Okay, or you can just open it up. Don't don't even think about going next door to that play guard. Uh, deodorant stick. Nice. Don't know if I would count that. Well, you know, I'd count that as first date. Like, being super smelly, that is a, a first... Oh, she's doing it. I see she's doing it. Retreat! 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 No, you don't. No, you're not getting me. You're not getting me. So how did I, you may wonder, how did I know she was going to do that? Well, there's two factors in it. One, I just mentioned I was very worried that she would do that. So it was kind of in the back of my mind to keep an eye on it. And then what I did is I just glanced down at the mini-map, and then I saw she's in the next door building, and then I saw a massive sound wave was emanating out of there, and that would be the Plague Heart calling for help because, you know, you tap it even once, and the reason that's a problem is because the Plague Heart will call for help, spawn in more guys, including the possibility of, the, the very likely possibility of a Blood Feral, and that would just ruin everything, so... Uh, having learned that that's exactly what they will do, that is why I am very skittish around that. So, I guess, okay, I want to I want to make this building get marked. So, like, this, this building should be marked, but unfortunately, it's glitched out. So, I just want to go over here, and I see there's a bunch of zombies next to it, so I guess I won't do that. Oh my gosh, these zombies... Whether they think this is, like, the maximum difficulty or something inconveniencing me. Okay, let me park over here. Where do I want to go next is the question. Um, I kind of want to go here to the second auto repair. And she is still trying to make her way to me, I see. Trying to lure them to our snipers. So the snipers will pick them off. Let me go pick her up. And then we'll try to hit that second auto D depot. Auto, auto, whatever that, whatever it is. The second place. Weave in between them. Where is she? Oh, she's right behind me. Hey, you know what? You're just gonna have to keep catching up to me because I got plague zombies in the front. I got plague zombies in the back. You know, we're just swimming in plague zombies. You know what? Let's go over to our other ally. That will be a fairly, a relatively safe play. That's why you want all, as many allies as you can get. Yes, it can be annoying that if they, they keep asking for favors and stuff like that, but Overall, I think it is definitely worth it for creating safer, safe, safe is too strong of a word, safer locations. And I can see she's already caught up. See, not, not bad considering that she's a... got the plague. No, nope, that's Joyce. Where's Maggie at? Actually, let me see what they're selling for now. Still in one piece. Okay, you have all the stuff that I was selling you originally. So what do we got today? Oh, you want to buy this deodorant stick? I know you don't have a lot of money and you really need a cure, but I think the problem is that you smell really bad. So here, buy that real quick. We're not done yet, though. We're going to go over to the Seconds Auto, Auto Depot. Auto. What is that? What is this place called? Seconds Auto Repair. I'll see you there. All right, so we're swinging by that former infestation location. Let's see if we can get to this auto repair without attracting every single zombie in the world. Some zombies in the world would be acceptable. I feel like the answer is yes. Let's get out tentatively. Okay, so we can get the gas station and it looks like we just had a quest that they want gasoline, so that's actually going to be perfect. The auto repair should have some tools, too, that we could scrap for parts. Is that it? Fuel is nice. I said reload, not swing your weapon. Are you being a cat? Oh, shiny. There we go. That's one thing we need. What else can we get? Not another canister of fuel would be nice. That'd be a great deal. Oh, wow! Jar of cocoa butter! Oh, I'm so sorry. You're too poor to afford these luxury items. Like, good gravy. Like, living in the bottom of society. Oh, that's perfect. See, 
if you were living on the high society, it just gives you more. Life would give you more. Okay, that didn't... Are you serious? I thought the arrow went through! Turn around. Yeah, we'll just ignore it. I was going to... Okay, Looks good. like nobody else is home. Of but course the door is locked. That last. That's fine, though. One of these doors won't be on the... Well, someone's going to be in here. I sense it. Maybe nobody? Unfortunately, our inventory is really junked up at the moment, and I can't sell anything. So maybe this was a bust. Okay, yeah, I can't loot a darn thing. Maybe I can use up uh, a fuel tank, though? Let me check our fuel. Eh, it's kind of a waste. Whatever, we'll just have to come back here later. Anyways, despite my cats attempting to hijack my show, we have prevailed. That is how you get a lot of value out of your hired... Get, get out of here. Uh -huh. you're, you're not part okay, of this anymore. Go. Leave. Anyways... That is how you can get, yeah, I guess I'll leave the light on. That is how you can get the most out of your allies, as well as, uh, once again, apparently we've forgotten to locate materials. Nevertheless, we are getting this base built up. Oh, look at that. This is going to be done in a quick 15 seconds. That's going to be looking pretty good. And uh, what do we need? What are we going to, let me see what are the requirements. I'm pretty sure I need 25 building materials to upgrade it to level three. We're about to find out. Two, one... Yeah, a nasty 25 building materials necessary to fully upgrade it. But, um, you know what, we can probably just start using our boxes of seeds now. That's going to be a good idea because using the box of seeds will not only give us a little bit more food, but it will also begin leveling up our... Ooh, look at this, we're getting some skill in fighting. We have two fighting skills as well. The passive leveling up is making a difference. Let's take ourselves a sword play and close combat i probably will take one endurance character they'll be my designated like fighting a hostile humans character but there you go that means i can use this again as well how, we're doing good on food oh my god look how big our health is like it makes such a big difference and look at that we don't have to risk our lives trying to level up through dangerous melee combat as well as just beating the crap out of our weapons just Really, really good. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of Decay 2 Lethal Zone content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.